Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Church of the Palms Daily Devotional for today. I'm glad we meet this way. Let us center ourselves by listening to the beautiful piano music. Our scripture lesson today is Mark chapter 10, verses 35 through 45. Here is the word of God to us. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And Jesus said to them, What is it that you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left hand, in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They replied, We are able. Then Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers, lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you, but whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O God, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. As a lover of New Testament, I often wonder about those 12 disciples of Jesus. They were so close to Jesus. They were with Jesus practically, physically, every day. And they often did not understand what Jesus was teaching them. And then again, I also so appreciate those disciples because they didn't get Jesus, although they were with him all the time. I feel that it's okay to be called the disciple of Jesus myself. They make me feel okay to be Jesus' disciple today. I can just hear the two brothers, James and John, saying to Jesus, You know us well and we know you love us. Give us whatever we want. 
And Jesus also treated them accordingly, saying, what is it that you want me to do for you? And I can just hear the, them asking Jesus what they want and Jesus talking back to them and the other 10 disciples being angry at them. But Jesus did say that you can be baptized with my baptism and you can drink the cup that I drink, but you, you cannot, I cannot tell you, you get to sit in my right and my left um, hand when I get to the glory. And so I actually really appreciate reading again, Jesus saying, for the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life for a ransom for many. My good old favorite uh, teacher and New Testament scholar, Herman Wagen explains this quite well. Herman said Jesus was saying to the disciples that they can drink from the same cup as he, and also they can have the same baptism as Jesus did. In fact, that is the sign of them being Jesus' disciples. By that they became like Jesus, the new kind of human. They got to enter into the eternal life as Jesus did. So the same goes for all of us today, here on earth, those who follow Jesus Christ. We become new human and disciples of Jesus Christ when we are baptized in the, say, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And when we share the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we do become the new human and disciples of Jesus Christ. When we become the new human um, begin, when we become the new human begins, we get to serve all kinds of people in Jesus' name, just like Jesus did. Because Jesus died for our sin and was raised from the dead, we get the same freedom, or rather we get to be free um, by God's grace from all our sins the deepest and the smallest and everyone in between. All the sins that we committed, we get freed from them by God's grace. Like Jesus, we get to serve many here and now. Jesus, the Son of God, came not to be served, but to serve. Reading this story again this time reminds me of all our volunteers here at Church of the Palms who serve in the food pantry and all our volunteers who tutor and teach the children of all ages. In this pandemic, most everyone can choose to stay home where it is safe and also calm. But many of you, the tutors and food pantry volunteers we have here, you choose to come out every day to serve those you don't know. No one forces you to do this. As disciples of Jesus practicing your faith, you on your own voluntarily come out to serve. You come out risking yourselves to serve and interact with those who are in need and you don't even know them. They are practically strangers to you. You come out to volunteer to serve in the food pantry or to tutor. You don't know who you're going to serve each day you come out, but you come out as the disciples of Christ. You serve them, you help them, and you teach them. In this way, you are following Jesus' new way of life, marked by giving service. And I, for one, am so grateful to you and grateful to God for you. For the rest of us, when we see those volunteers who are volunteering at all over the places, especially food pantry and tutoring, please let us say thanks to them for what they are doing in Christ's name. And speaking of which, I understand we still need some more tutors to tutor the children on Tuesdays and Thursday afternoons. Jesus came to serve, so do we, as his followers. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for sending Jesus as the ransom for our sins. Teach us now how to follow him and serve others like he did, near and far from us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.